What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid, and in this video I'm going to be answering the biggest, biggest, biggest question you've all had for the past couple of days. Now it's no surprise that you are all in love with the FF8 randomizer playthrough, and a lot of you have been asking, how do I play it? Well, uh, how do you get to play it? And things like that, like where do you find it, how do you install it, and what versions of the game? does it work on? Well, I'm going to tell you how to do all of that in this video so you can enjoy the randomness yourselves because hey it's fun right so before we start though I do just want to say one little thing and that is a big big thank you to the new members over on YouTube right over here uh, Oliver and Christopher Jones thank you guys for the support it does mean a lot okay now moving on so obviously the mod is called the maelstrom mod I know you guys might have seen it in the uh, the start of part one but you basically find the mod over on GitHub, and it's made by Sleepy Bunny. Now, I will have this linked in the description below this video, so if you guys want to head on over there and take a look at it, you are more than welcome to. Now, the page it'll take you to is basically the information for the mod. So it's got the features, the free roam pre-alpha feature, the requirements, the installation and the usage, and all the notes and other boring things like that. Chances are, though, you're not going to read all this. Um, if you want to download the mod, you basically just click here where it says the current release. Before I show you what's on that page, though, I do just want to mention one thing. Now, obviously, right here, it does say the requirements. Finally, Final Fantasy VIII remastered or the 2013 Steam release. Now this does not work with the PS1 or a PS1 ROM or anything like that, nor will it work on the PS4 version of the game. This will only work on PC and again it will only work with Steam versions of the game. And of course you can use the remaster but there are a few extra limitations on that which I will touch on a little bit later. So, if you want to download it, simply head down to the link in the description, scroll down to where it says download the current release, click on current release, and you will load up here with the Maelstrom V5. Now, these are just the updates in V5, and obviously below you've got all the older updates, but what you want to do is basically click right here where it says Maelstrom 0.5 win.zip, and that will basically open up a download for you, which you uh, basically just save in any random folder, doesn't really matter matter but once you've got it go ahead and go into your folder where you saved it and you will have the zipped file right here now this is really really important if you are on Windows 10 make sure you right click this file first go to properties and right here you should have a little box that says unblock now it's super annoying that Windows 10 requires this it's just an extra little step that you have to go through once you've clicked unblock just click OK now obviously it's not on mine because I've already blocked it and I don't want to re-download it. Now, once you've unblocked it, then you basically just go ahead and extract it. Now, once you've extracted, you'll get another folder with all of these files in. We don't really care about any of these at all. The only one we want is this one right here, the .exe. So, load up Maelstrom, and whoops, I did not set a capture screen up for that. Uh, let's just go ahead and quickly add that in now, so that you guys can actually see the mod. There we go. Okay, so this right here is what the mod looks like as soon as you first open it. Obviously, absolutely nothing is turned on right now, so you can go through all of these as you wish. Now, I did mention earlier on that some features do not work in the remastered version of Final Fantasy VIII. Um, that I've noticed the only feature that does not work is the random draw points. Everything else should still work. And of course it does say right here this feature does not currently work on the remastered edition. So, you know, you could play with random enemies, random items, random draws, you know, things like that. Um, but random draw, uh, draw points will not work on the remaster. 
Of course, you've got the Battle of the GF, the cards, uh, yada, yada, yada. You know, you can go through these as you wish and make your own choices. However, in order to actually set this up, what you need to do is you need to go down to config right here. And then you need to put into the location where your .exe is. Now, depending on the version of the game you are playing, the location for this would change. However, typically... It will always be in your Steam library. If you're not sure where your .exe is for Final Fantasy VIII, simply load up Steam, go to your um, your library, go to Final Fantasy VIII, right-click it, and then view file uh, location on the right-click screen, and that will basically take you straight to where your uh, you know your .exe is. All you need to do then is simply you know copy the uh, the top of the um, box, go over to location. Click browse and then you just paste it into there. So obviously as you can see right now it's already detected mine in my Steam library, Steam X Common, Final Fantasy 8. And then you just click on the ff8.exe and click open. And then once you do that, uh, choose all your settings and click go. And then this will essentially randomize your exe. Now, if you want to unrandomize it, so if you want to, uh, you know, turn it back to a completely normal game, simply go through all the options, disable everything, and then click go again. Now, I have seen a couple of reports on the uh, GitHub page of that not working. If that does not stop the randomization, uh, what you can do is simply go to Steam and re-verify your files, and that should sort the issue out. But, yeah, guys, that is going to to be it for this one that is how you install and play the ff8 randomizer so go out there have some fun and enjoy just as much as i've been doing and of course make sure you tune in on sunday as well for when we uh, we stream part number four and it's going to be a long stream as well a good old three hours of randomizer carnage but though guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, then please be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss any random goodness. As always though, everybody, thank you for watching and I will see you soon.